Monarch butterflies bear a strong resemblance to soldier and queen butterflies. I like all of them, and I've seen all three on my milkweed plants. The life cycle I've recorded is that of the queen butterfly. I could find very little information about the queens, but a great deal about monarchs. Because they are so similar, I've taken what I could find about the queen and combined it with some more detailed narrative about the monarch. That's what we're going to talk about today. The queen butterfly, like the monarch, lays its eggs on the milkweed plant, which is known as a host plant. Within six days, those eggs hatch. The caterpillars spend between two and three weeks gorging themselves on milkweed leaves, which contain chemicals that make them taste bad for potential predators. When this little queen caterpillar got big enough, it went looking for a place to build its chrysalis. It went crawling up the wall of my apartment, looking around for the right place, feeling its way around. Finally, it attached itself to a little pad of silk and hung upside down in the shape of a J. After several hours, the skin splits and drops off, revealing a green chrysalis. Once the chrysalis is completely formed, digestive fluids break down the caterpillar cells and tissues so that it can become a butterfly. While some caterpillars hang their chrysalises on their host plants or on walls, others travel some distance for their transformation. This one crawled about 20 feet away and hung itself on one of my palm trees. After about two weeks, the chrysalis darkened. The chrysalis then cracked and the butterfly pushed itself out. As the butterfly emerges, you will notice that its abdomen is really big. 
That's because it is filled with fluid. Once the butterfly is completely out of the chrysalis, the fluid is pumped into its wings. As the fluid enters the veins of the wings, the wings expand. The butterfly moved from side to side as it let the fluid flow freely into its wings. After its wings were fully formed, it flew away. 